Good morning. Today we have our foundations lesson. We're going to start with a warm up. A apple a, B bat b, C cat k, D dog d, E ed e, F fun f, G gain g, H hat h, I itch i, J jug j, K kite k, L lamp ol, M man m, N nut n. O octopus a, ah, P pan p, Q u queen qu, R rat r, S snakes, T top t, U up a, uh, V van v, W wind w, X fox x, Y yellow y, and Z zebra z. Nice job. Thanks for joining in with me. Let's stretch out our vowel sounds today. Here we go. We have A, apple, A, E, ed, E, I, itch, I, O, octopus, A, and U, up, A. Today, we're going to go ahead and go through our digraphs as well. Hopefully, you're noticing I have seen some more pictures. Brooklyn found chapstick, which had two digraphs. Ch, ch, chap, C-H, and stick had the K, the C-K at the end. Great job. Thanks for sharing. If we look carefully, let's say each of these digraphs together. W-H, whistle, W. Now you say it. W-H, whistle, W. T H thumb. Go ahead and say it. And now I'm going to say T H V, where I stick out my tongue and make it voiced, where I can feel it kind of buzz on my tongue a little bit. C H chin ch. Go ahead and say that one. Nice job. And if we look down here, sorry about that. We have S H ship. Sh and C K sock. We usually see that one at the ends of words. Nice job. We're going to tap out these words. I'm going to put my screen shade on today and I'm going to show you one word at a time. That way we can kind of tap them out and focus on those together. So go ahead and get those fingers ready. We're going to tap out the beginning, middle, and ending sounds. Remember, when we tap a digraph, those two letters in that digraph just get one tap. So this word, we would tap it, shop, shop. I need to shop at the store, shop. What is the digraph in that word? You're right, S-H. And you can always mark that up by putting an underline underneath it to show us that S-H sound. Let's look at the next word. Here we go. Tap it with me. Sh -ip. Sh -ip. I saw a ship sailing in the sea. What is the digraph in that word? You are correct, the S-H, it makes the sound shh. Let's look at the next word we have. Ooh, a different digraph. I see C-H at the beginning of that word. Remember, you can always have your foundations notebook out to help you with the pictures right now since we're just learning these. Ch -i -n. Chin, point to your chin. I see a CH digraph, so I'm going to underline that CH. Nice job. Go ahead and tap this one on your own. Nice job. Ch, at, chat. I'm going to chat with my friends. Chat. I see that CH digraph in the word chat. Take a look at this word. We have a new digraph, and I've already marked this one up so you can see it. It's the TH sound. Remember, when you make the TH sound, your tongue needs to stick out a little bit. Thud. Thud. And this is a, an unvoiced TH sound. Thud. I heard a loud thud on the floor. And next, we have the word in. Thin, I see that TH sound. I like thin crust pizza, thin. Nice job, nice work tapping those out. It will get easier as we practice more. Today's activity, 
something that's called being a digraph detective. So I have some pictures up here and we have to locate the digraphs. So you're going to I'm going to make my page have two pages so you can see both pages today. And you're going to see lots of words and you have to find the digraph. So when you're looking at your screen, you can just point with your finger to the digraph or you can try to tap out the whole word. I'm going to take my highlighting tool today and I'm going to help you find those digraphs. So I'm going to look at this first word, oh, ash. Oh, I see the S-H. D-ash. I see the S-H. I'm going to go over here. Sh-ut. Shut. I see S-H again. Sh-up. Shop. I see S-H. Dish. Here's the S-H. Shut. There's S-H. Ish, wish, there's SH at the end, and fish. So you can see SH can be at the beginning or the end of a word. Let's look at some more. All right, let's go ahead and look at this, this word. Such, such, point to the digraph. Good, C-H, you're a good detective. Detectives are always looking for things. You're doing a nice job looking for those digraphs. Look at this one, ch-ip, chip. I like to eat a chip. Ooh, let's look over here, m-off, ooh, T-H. P-ath, I see T-H. Let's look down here, m-uch, I see C-H. R itch. I see ch again. M -ath. Do you see it? You're right. It's th. W if. I see another th. Let's see if we have any more today. Oh, we do. Look at these words right over here. Let me go back to my single page. If we look at this word, let's try to tap it out together. D, uck. Oh, I hear, I see a CK sound. L, ick. I heard another CK sound. R, ock. Rock. There's another CK. And L, ock. Lock. Wow. I bet you are a great detective. I bet you were able to spot all of those digraphs that we could see in those words. Boys and girls, today what we're going to do is um, a little bit of a sound check. Now in our classroom, we would normally use our magnetic board to make some words together. I'm going to talk about how we tap out these words. Um, I'm first going to warm us up with some of our sounds so we can spell words using the digraphs as well. I'm just going to say a sound and I want you to point to that digraph. So my first sound is shh. You should have pointed to the sh. Sh, ship, shh. The next sound I would like you to point to says ch, 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 like chicken. Ch, ch. Oh, yes. Ch, ch, chin, ch. The next digraph sound I'd like you to point to is th. You're right, that TH sound, which is different from an F sound. So make sure you're making a TH. My tongue sticks out a little bit on that. TH, thumb. The next sound we have is W. There's two letters that can make that W sound. You might hear W in WH, whistle W. Or you might have even pointed to the letter W. Both of those can make a W sound. And the last sound I want you to listen for today is K. 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 If you said CK, you are right. CK sock. But you also might have pointed to the letter C and the letter K. 
as well because all of those make the k sound in words. There's just different rules we have to follow to know when we're going to use those different um, letter sounds or the digraphs. So today we're going to make a couple words and then we're going to spell them together. So I'll say the word and then I want you to tap the word out with me and then we're going to pull the letter tiles to spell the word. So our first word that we're going to spell today is the word shop. Say shop. Shop. Let's tap it out. Shop. Shop. I heard S-H. Ah, ah. O, P, 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 and that makes the word shop. I'm going to shop for the groceries, shop. Let's try another word. This time, I want you to spell the word ship. I saw a ship in the ocean, ship. Say ship. Nice. Let's tap it out. Sh -i -p. What do you hear for sh? Yes, S H. I, I, I. I p, 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 p. Nice job. The word is ship. We can mark up that digraph by taking our writing tool and we can make an underline underneath that digraph. S-H is the digraph in that word, ship. Let's try another word. This time we're gonna try the word chin. Chin, say chin to yourself. I fell and hurt my chin, chin. Let's tap that word out, ch, i, n, chin. I hear ch, i. And the word is chin. If I want to mark it up, I can underline the ch digraph. Ch, ch, ch. Now I'm going to say a couple other words, and I want you to try to spell them. So you can find a blank piece of paper at your house, or if you have magnetic letters or something like that, you can go ahead and actually build the word. Or on the screen, you can just point to the letters to to make the words. So the next word I want you to try to make is chat. I like to chat on the phone. Chat. Let's tap it out. Ch -a -t. Chat. If you pointed, you might have pointed to C H A Ch A T T T. -a -t. And the T sound, the word is chat. Nice job. And you can mark it up by putting an underline underneath that CH. Now, I'm gonna take us over to one more page today. And if you have a dry erase board or a marker or even saw, you can use a Ziploc bag and put a piece of paper if you have a dry erase marker in there and then you can reuse it. Or just a regular piece of paper will be fine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and write a word that has a digraph in it. So today's word that we're going to write is the word thud. I heard a thud on the floor. Everyone say thud. Thud. Let's tap it out. A uh, d thud. I'm going to write the sounds you can hear. I hear T H. Uh, uh, uh. Try your best to do your neatest handwriting. I think I could have wrote a little neater, but with the computer, sometimes it's tricky. But I know you write neatly. Use those lines correctly. Uh, touch that skyline and make a straight line down. My word is thud. I can even mark up the word and I can mark up the digraph so I can see that th sound. Nice job. I have one more word for us today that I'd like you to spell. I would like you to spell the word path. I am going to take a bike ride on the path. Say path. 
Nice job. Let's go ahead and tap that out. P, A, F, path. I'm going to go ahead and write the sound I hear first. P, P, P. The letter P starts at the airplane line. It goes down to the worm line. I can pick up my pencil and come back and circle around to the grass line. P, A, A. I hear the letter A. A starts like the C at the airplane line. Curve around, up, and fall back down to the grass line. P, A, F. I hear that TH digraph. I'm going to make a T, skyline to grass line. Fly across the airplane line, and I'm going to make an H. Straight line down to the grass line. Come back up to the airplane line and make a hump. My word is path. And I'm going to underline my digraph, which is at the end of the word this time. Path. I went for a ride on the path. Great work today, boys and girls. Thanks for joining in. Let's continue to look for those digraphs as we are playing and looking for words around us. Great job.